We've learned new information on the death of a 26-year-old mother in an incident where Cleveland police opened fire. Antoinette Carter died Sunday. News 5 anchor Damon Maloney spoke with her mother yesterday. She said she and her daughter both called 911 for help, and while police were at the family home, she saw her daughter driving back home with another car chasing from behind. I see the car behind her chasing her, and I heard the shots, like, really loud. The Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department, which is now investigating, says the shots were fired from one of the cars and CPD returned fire. Antoine's car crashed. The other drove off. Today, the county medical, medical examiner's office said Antoine died from a gunshot wound and ruled her death a homicide. Also, preliminary testing does not indicate that police activity was directly responsible for her death. Neighbors in an Akron neighborhood are calling for change after a deadly shooting. Detectives say a 41-year-old man was killed Sunday morning shortly after leaving a bar on Archwood Avenue. And get this, police say in the last year and a half, there have been eight other cases of shots fired in that same area. Bob Jones spoke with a resident living in fear and with city leaders about what they plan to do next. Bullet holes in a fence. So I've got bullet holes through my fence here and here. Our frightening reminders of what Kathy Klein experienced. And the shooting happened right on the street and basically underneath my window. When she was startled out of sleep around 345 Sunday morning. I heard a lot of gunshots and it sounded like two different guns firing. Right across the street from Kathy's house, police found 41-year-old Roland Williams shot to death. It was like gunshots, boom, 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 and then it was like an automatic weapon after that. Somebody got a shot! Where are you? The killer is still on the loose. To say it's unsettling would be an understatement. Captain Michael Miller believes there was an altercation at this bar at 752 East Archwood, and the victim was shot moments after leaving it. The bar's name has changed over the years, including Archwood Bar and the Poor House. Signs hanging from it now read the office bar and grill. City officials are working to figure out who owns it. That's something that we're combing through to determine who are the operators, what are they doing to uh, mitigate these problems? Records obtained by News 5 show Akron police have been called to the building's address eight other times for shots fired calls in about a year and a half. In two of the shootings, people were hurt. That's eight incidents, far too many. For Kathy, the reoccurring gunfire is causing her to live in fear, even in her own backyard. I feel like every time I bring my dog outside at night, or even sometimes during the day, I'm taking my life into my own hands. Miller says police will focus more attention on the bar and step up patrols in the area. The community wants the situation solved and, and we have a requirement and a responsibility to do that. Kathy believes the time to make changes is overdue. I'd love to see either the place close completely and become another type of business other than a bar, um, or I'd love to see them make some drastic changes. In a statement, Akron Mayor Shamas Malik said the city is aware of the safety concerns and actively working towards a solution. He also said we will not tolerate nuisance locations which impact the safety of our residents. This community deserves to feel safe in their homes, on their streets, and at their local businesses. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.